Australia, CMC World Travel Travel. Finally, we are in uh, my homeland town, uh, and uh, this is a wonderful landscape behind me. And um, you can see like this incredible cone house that we call Truly. We are in this Albero Bello town. Albero Bello means beautiful trees. And these cone houses are like real houses where people were used to live inside. From, uh, let's see, from Frederick the Second time, Twi around 1200, because this area, the king of uh, this area was uh, Frederick the Second, and uh, he started to charge people they, own, they were used to own an house. And people that were living here, they were not so happy about it. They, they tried to figure out what to do, and they started to build houses with these rocks, one on top of the other. In fact, when the Frederick the Second people come for check if they have this out. They say no, it's not an house at all. It's just rocks. They throw the rocks away, and there was no house. They didn't get charged. Little by little, from a little house all over, they built a village. And this village looks like it's coming out from a fairy tale book from kids. And uh, it's incredible little streets, incredible houses. They they made inside of this truly like an Airbnb restaurant, coffee shop, they rearrange like a touristic ways, but still you can have this kind of feeling to be in these fairy tale, fairy tale books. We're gonna walk together and uh, explore little by little this incredible village. is full of stones. Why well, was easy for them to find the stones for build the, the little cone in truly houses. And between the rocks there is no cement. It's the way that they put the rocks together, one on top to the other. They are able to build the houses. These are not truly but how heavy you can see it. There is even a twin through two big trulies together. The same with the same roof. We're gonna we're gonna go meet our wonderful friends and guide in Albero Bello Mimo is gonna take us inside of one of these truly for let us understand how they were used to live because this was not just fashion thing they were used to build people were living inside like family six seven eight people together with animals and in a small place where they were used to survive all together and see how close were the entrance of the houses against Talking about the resilience of the helping each other way, like the lady, the neighbors, is right here, like no more than, let's say, 20 feet, maybe less, five meters, two meters, and she became part of the family. Like everything was going on here, she knows here, and the same on the other side. And this became a big family neighborhood together that we used to help, whatever help they need. <laughs> Bello with our wonderful friends and guide in Albero Bello, Mimo, is gonna show us the inside of these incredible truly houses. Sir, uh, in the opinion of the most, when people come in this little corner of my town, they think this one, for example, is falling down and has not been maintained. And but if you Pay attention to the little details. Rocks are broken and properly in relation with other truly houses where everything is smooth, better materials, better hammers. This certifies that this probably was the first truly in the town. <laughs> so under my perspective, is the most precious one. With that little beautiful details, like a triangle window. Oh wow. It means people that decided to establish themselves here on these hills. This place was completely I'm talking about fifteen fifty. 
it was completely covered with oaks. They have been taking down oaks, make a hole in the ground in which they were planning to collect rain because there are caves everywhere absorbing rain so there are no rivers no lakes the only water if you want to live here is your private cistern then i'm gonna tell you how change how change you can change rain into water that you can drink so when they decided to establish themselves into this oak forest there were no permissions to build houses this place was unknown on the maps, my town has been hidden in the forest for almost two centuries. From 1550 to 1797, this was an unknown place. And these people were building houses with no permission. They were not paying taxes to the Spanish king in Napoli, Ferdinando I. So they were supposed to be temporary houses. So they don't break stone properly. They make very simple windows. But then when they realized that they can live here, because they started protecting themselves with sentinels into the woods, moving in other uh, puffs, inspectors, calling them in other direction. When they understood that this town could be secret, they slowly have been improving, improving, improving the technique. So this one is probably the roughest and oldest squat, fat, giant wall true law housing town what we are doing today we're gonna see two of them one never touched with the antiques inside then i will take you into another one completely restored but what makes albero bello different from other cities these monuments are still alive there are still people building truly not in albero bello because from 1910 is national monument from 1996 is UNESCO site. You don't want to build in town a fake monument, but you can do in the countryside. Instead of building a ugly cemented house, you can reproduce a trullo, not in Albero Bello. So if you're asking me if there are people capable of building a trullo, yes. Where are the old one, the authentic one here? What certifies that it's authentic? No mortal between the stone. External wall, interior one, and the gravel in the middle for thermal insulation. Guys and folks, we are gonna say hi to our wonderful guides and friends Mimo. And you will have this wonderful experience if you book with us through CMC World Travel. And uh, you can have the only great experience with him because he's, he, he was born here. He lives here all his life. He built through me. He, he knows every little rocks in this little town. He can really give you this incredible feeling of this incredible place. Stay tuned. Hi for now and ciao!
I love you truly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.